Right now, drivers pay 205 to cross the bridge, but in just a few weeks, that rate goes to $2.10. While toll rate increases are not popular with drivers, a spokesperson for Riverlink says that they are necessary. For drivers with a prepaid account and transponder, the increase is the lowest. Those without either will feel the 2.5% increase the most. So with the new rates, if you have that prepaid account and transponder, you're paying 210 to cross. If you don't have that account, it's 420. It's double. It's a big difference. So it's going to save you even more now. We like to say little transponder, big savings, but it really does save you a lot. Riverlink tolling is in place on the I-65 Abraham Lincoln Bridge, I-65 Kennedy Bridge, and the Lewis and Clark Bridge connecting Prospect, Kentucky to Utica, Indiana. Toll rates do grow up every year. There's an increase, uh, relatively small increase. It's pennies on the dollar, but it's important for drivers to be aware. Riverlink spokesperson Mindy Peterson says this is only the second year drivers are seeing a toll rate increase because year one, 2017, the tolls weren't open quite a year and they didn't want to enforce the increase. Toll rate increases are not popular with drivers, which I totally understand and get that, but toll rate increases are common and they're necessary. You're really keeping pace with inflation. Peterson says the increases will take place every July 1st and are measured by the Consumer Price Index. The money helps with meeting project expenses. You're talking about the financial obligations of the Bridges Project. It was a $2.3 billion project. You're talking about operations and maintenance of the bridges and the roadways in the project area. Carrie Grace, WLKY News.